getting a lot of questions on how I color a lot of my work. And so I wanted to go ahead and give you all a quick tutorial because really it is pretty simple. This right here is more specifically for folks who have black magic, Ursa's, Pockets, anything with the B-Rolls, DNGs, clean cut and simple. Let's get into it. So right now I got a cinema DNG lined up with an artist named ATX Cypher. Y'all check them out. First, we're going to go into the raw settings. We're going to come to clip uh, generation four. Of course, if you're working with gen five, switch it to gen five. For the color space, black magic design, because that gives us the best color space for the footage and then my gamma black magic 4.6 K right here to 5600 I take this right here down to zero and how I have my node tree set up is very simple so this is my primary balance right here so what I'll do on this first one is mostly just make sure those are balanced I'll you know go through them raise my highlights to how I like them and I'll definitely bring this chunk like I said this main chunk of the reds because the red is what's the most dominant to me so I want to keep this bright red her hair is red the sun has you know red tone in it so it's to me the red matters on this one i want less blue so i'm glad that it's down here sitting in the low ends right now most of the chunk is you know fairly in this little section of stuff so on this one i have my log grades come over here to the log wheels and this is going to touch on those highlights now that they're activated we can bring them down, you see, but we don't lose overall skin tone exposure. We still have that same nice brightness that we have. It's not really touching his face, but look at the highlights on her. Bring them down. Look, she's balanced now. She has a little glow balance, but look how much control we have now of that. And we expose properly over here. Boom. We're still exposed. The brightness on the skins and the whites, they didn't change. Everything else did, but the highlight parts are, they're not gonna mess. They're not gonna be messed up. So I can control the skin tones with my mid tones now the proper way. You see that mid right here, that little mid section with that chunk? Now I can control that chunk, just a chunk alone. I isolate that chunk and that's what I want. See the trees in the back, how much of the exposure goes up. I wanna soften them, I can. Look at this, this moves, not this, look. That's why I love the log wheels. You know, that's the difference in using log wheels versus the primary. So color wheels will do that, but bring in the logs on its own. And then with the darks, what I like to do is, so your darks are usually like this. That's how we balanced it, right? That's our shot originally, see? Now I wanna crispy it up. So I wanna smash these in because the blues aren't really gonna be hurt. I'm okay with the blues being dark here, but I can smash these reds and these greens and bring out the contrast back in that face. Look at her, look at her. Remember that drop shadow? Everything that's gray is what we control now. Doom. Yeah. So that's my crunch, you see? brings that shadows without losing the detail we could still look we didn't lose no detail it's this is same detail and then we can come in here and you can mess with your temperatures now the temperature is how you like it so to get this next step right here what we're gonna do is you're gonna add a node right click and then you're gonna add a serial node right here corrector gonna add a serial you can right click add a layer right click add serial node before boom just chain it like this Boom, boom, that's how you get that, All right? Okay, this next one, uh, we're gonna work on the, the skin tones. We're gonna have both of these enabled for this part because they both matter. All right, and it's really so freaking simple, but I should make you pay for this, but I'm not. I just ask, follow, subscribe me, share this video, right? This right here is going to be your skin tones, which is common, everybody knows this. If you do coloring, this is pretty basic. Um, you're gonna hit up here, you're gonna select the skin tones, boom. With the one down here, on this one, we're going to bring it into the yellow and green on the highs. You see how we control that? Cause you can go and you can come back here and now you can warm it up. They just change accordingly. So however your sun's lit, it'll go with that sun. If your sun's scorching, you're going to scorch with your sun. But look at the grade is still there. What do I mean? because you're gonna right click on this one, you're gonna go to composite, and you're gonna go to hard light. Now adjust these accordingly. If you have to go back and reselect your face, select your skin tones, and this is saturations. So you can adjust your saturation, but what I do is I'll go here to the vetroscope, make sure 
two times zoom and skin tone indicators on, which is this white line that you'll see here. When you solo out, you see how much of your skin tone is off. Now that you changed brightness or your darkness of your skin tone, however you want it to hit, I keep it up at one. I give it a one gain. Now with the offset, get as much as you can of this white line on that center. And now you're back to your creamy skin tones, right? And now you're, yeah, see, you got a bell, but ding, sign up, subscribe, like, all right, because this is, this is the magic right here. This little formula, they'll change everything that you do with your edits, with your color grading. This same formula will work for anything, right? The hard mixer, this is like the meat and potatoes right here, y'all. This is everything. On this one, it goes for the whites. Everything that's bright, bright. This is what we'll go back and control. So our sky is usually what this captures. I mean, like I can make it sunnier just by color tone of the sky. Do I want to go purple sky? He's having a dream. So this one is all the contrast. That's what they really look like. Like you could still, look, you could still see the little highlight on her neck. Come on. This is the beauty part of it that, you know, now I can control this whole setup. I want to cool the whole thing down, but still keep that warm tone. Look at the warm tone still sit through there. I want to go to movie style. I mean, it's all there now. Whatever I want to do, I just just move the color wheel like an Instagram post. Um, on this one, you don't have to do this. So I just went in here, sharpened it, put it to 46. Easy. Now that I have reached the end of that, I'll come back here, open back up my parade. Now I can see what my stylistic choice is. I don't mess with the log one because the log one has my peaks that I like on there. Now I come in here and I just mess with the main primary wheels. And I just want to bring back up some of that dark, but it's not going to crush it. I mean, that's rich. That's rich shots. So I'll bring this down here now so we can see the difference. So here, come in here and track his face. And if you want to make it hit a little harder, you can. Track the face here. I'll say you did that now. You know, you can do that for each scene. If that's not what this is for. This is for people that just have basic understanding of how to bring in a film footage and edit. And they're new to Resolve. I mean, this right here is pretty basic. I wish I learned this when I first came in. You know, I'll produce this clip, grab a still, come over here to galleries, right click it, and now I can compare the two. Look how much more life this has. I mean, it looks like a sunny day out now. And this was more like sunset. This is like the actual time that we shot. And this is what we created. So that's the, that's my quick little tutorial on how to color grade. If you have any questions, follow me so I can message you directly. If you're on YouTube right now, subscribe to it, share it, TikTok, Facebook, stories, reels, wherever you got to put it, share it. Well, I'm Eric with Envision Films. Y'all have a good day. Like, follow, subscribe, player.